Yes, good morning children. Yesterday we had started the chapter number 10 reaching the age of adolescence. In that class we had studied about the stage of life when the individual is neither a child nor an adult but uh, it is the stage of transformation of an individual from child to adult this is called adolescence and this uh, lasts during the uh, 11th year of age to 18 or 19 years of age so it covers mostly the age is 13 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 and 19. So this age is also called teenage. This also age is called teenage. Teenage and the individuals are called teenagers. Yes. Teenagers or adolescents. Okay, children? Okay, sir. Teenagers or adolescents. And then uh, we are seeing that uh, adolescents need a high a uh, nutritious diet, highly rich proteinaceous diet because in them the new tissues are to be formed which requires uh, proteins, proteins from uh, muscles and thus they require highly nutritious food, highly uh, protein rich diet they require. Okay, then we have seen that what is puberty? Puberty is the uh, stage uh, of changes in the body after which an individual is uh, capable of reproduction becomes capable of reproduction that means the individual becomes reproductively mature that means if it, uh, if it is male then the sex organs uh, called testes it begins to produce sperms and sperms mature and thus uh, he is uh, he is capable of reproduction. If it is female, then uh, a female sex organ ovaries, they begin to produce mature egg and hence they will be ready for reproduction. Understand? Before that, the individuals, they are not capable of reproduction. After puberty only, they uh, attain uh, the capacity to reproduce. And yesterday we had been seeing the uh, changes that take place during puberty. So some of the changes we have seen and today we will uh, learn some more changes that take place uh, in the body at puberty. Yesterday we have seen that there is a, a sudden increase in height of an individual due to the elongation of uh, leg bones and arm bones. Leg bones and arm bones. Okay, children? Then we have seen that uh, there is a change in the body shape. The males develop broader shoulders, the boys develop broader shoulders and females, uh, the region below the waist, the, uh, the region below the waist becomes uh, wider in girls. Okay, then we have to see the third change that is voice change. Third change. Voice change. In our body, there is a voice box in the neck. Okay, it is called larynx. It is called what? Larynx. So, in uh, boys, growing boys and girls, there is a change in the voice. Okay, so some uh, male boys, they develop hoarse voice due to the elongation of the uh, elongation of the voice box. It is called Adam's apple. It is called Adam's, 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 Adam's apple. apple. Adam's apple. Okay. And so generally, the uh, female voice has high pitch and male voice is low pitch voice. Okay, let us write. The sound sound is produced by produced by voice box voice box okay in 
boys, in growing boys, in growing boys, the boys goes the boys goes enlarges enlarges due to which due to which voice becomes voice becomes hoarse okay. generally generally voice of girls the voice of females females has high pitch high pitch then males okay the elongated the elongated for killing part what you mean part of voice box uh, you can you can see the elongated protruding part in your neck here you can see can you see or not yes sir yes can you feel the, can you feel the presence of voice box this protruding part is called adams of apple is ko kya bolte hai voice box is called Adam's apple. Voice is called Adam's apple. Adam's apple. Okay. Uh, please note down. What What you have written in the second the point? Al uh, uh, back side of the elongated. Let me read it. Let me read it. The whole. The sound is produced by voice box. In growing voice, the voice box enlarges due to which voice becomes hoarse. Generally, voice of males, a voice of females, has higher pitch than males. The elongated protruding part of voice box is called Adam's apple. Is called what? Adam's apple. Okay. Completed, sir. Yes, sir. Completed. Okay. Hoarse okay. change, children. Four change in uh, uh, you might have seen in the growing uh, children, growing children, uh, they used to sweat more, okay, and their the uh, oil glands or the sebaceous glands they secrete more oil due to which they develop pimples or acne. Have you seen this? Have you seen this or not? Yes, sir. Okay. So write down increase activity of sweat and sebaceous glands. Increase activity of increase activity of sweat and sebaceous oil glands. Good right. Growing, growing adolescents, growing adolescents sweat more, sweat more. Okay. Due to this, the adolescents 
develop impulse and acne due to this due to this adolescence adolescence develop acne pimples on face and pimples on face see acne and appearance of pimples on face is an indication that the uh, child is no more a child he has reached the age of adolescence that means uh, he or she is in the uh, transitional age from uh, childhood to adulthood okay children yeah. yes yes karishma so someone's mic is uh, on it is making noise so much harish's mic is on okay one minute let me see don't all of you harish parisha harish parisha mute your mic harish parisha mute your mic otherwise i will mute you so please sir okay okay any other so sir please okay no doubt completed sir okay then fifth fifth is not no i am rubbing only the third point not the fourth change i am rubbing the third change only okay okay sir third change the next change is fifth one development of sex organs development of sex organs we have already studied about the sex organs in the previous chapter that in males testes they grow and they start to produce mature sperm and females in females ovaries start to produce mature eggs mature eggs or ova understand right down at puberty at puberty male and female male and female sex organs but sex organs develop fully develop fully and and begin to produce and begin to produce produce gametes okay testes begin to testes begin to can you tell me testes begin to uh mature mature sperm testes begin to produce sperms to produce sperms and and ovaries begin to produce ovaries begin to produce what mature egg mature egg mature egg mature egg ovaries begin to produce mature egg okay any problem no sir no problem no sir no. Next point. Next, next change. 
in the body okay now let us see what are secondary sexual characters yesterday i told you about secondary sexual characters see there are some characters which appear in the body of boys and girls after puberty based on that we can differentiate that this is a boy and this is a girl because uh, when when the boy is child and girl is also a child we cannot differentiate whether the that whether uh, the, this child is a girl child or a boy child okay so the characters that develop in the boys and girls are at, uh, after puberty that differentiate to uh, that differentiate them uh, between a male and a female these are called secondary sexual characters secondary sexual characters for example in <coughs> for example in boys they uh, uh, mustaches and beards appear on their face okay mustaches and beards appear on their face then their shoulders become broader their shoulder become broader and their voice becoming hoarse ha ah, because very good their voice becomes hoarse or rough okay then in the boy while in the girls in the girls the uh, breast begin to develop uh, the region uh, uh, region uh, near the chest the breast begin to develop then uh, the region below the waist also becomes wider yesterday also we have discussed isn't it Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. The region yes. below the waist becomes wider than the children. And the uh, voice of girls is high pitched voice. High pitched voice. Okay children. And listen and there are some other character there are some uh, common characters in the boys and the girls is that they develop hairs under the arms and in the pubic region. about the thighs about the thighs they take place in both the girls and boys wo dono hi girls aur boys mein dono mein hi common hote hain theek hai beta is it okay yes sir okay, okay. now let us say about sex sexual characters <clears throat> secondary sexual characters as we have seen that there are several changes that take place during puberty in girls and boys so these changes help us to differentiate a male from a female okay so this, that is why they are called secondary sexual characters okay the secondary sexual characters the characters that develops develops in bodies of adolescent adolescent boys and girls boys and girls at puberty the characters with that develop in bodies of adolescent boys and girls at puberty at 
puberty helps to differentiate differentiate male from females from females these characters are called these characters are called characters are called secondary sexual characters characters are called secondary sexual characters secondary sexual characters okay so let us see secondary sexual characters in boys and in girls okay na boys mein kya secondary sexual characters aate hain aur girls mein kya secondary sexual characters aate hain boys ko pehla appearance of appearance of mustaches and beard on face ठीक है appearance of mustaches and beard on face growth of breast growth of breast memory glands what are memory glands children memory glands are the glands that produce milk in a lactating mother when the females become mother they used to feed their baby with the help of memory glands they are developing in the breast okay memory glands produce milk for newborn baby newborn baby okay children this is what second second is what shoulders become broader shoulders become broader उनके जो कंधे होते हैं चौड़े होते हैं किसके किसके कौन चौड़े कंधे होते हैं मेल्स मेल्स फीमेल्स द रीजन बिलो द बेस्ट द रीजन बिलो द बेस्ट बिलो द बेस्ट बिकम्स वाइडर बिकम्स वाइडर ओके in all of that voice becomes hoarse voice becomes hoarse or low pitch voice low pitch the voice is high pitch i pitch okay any other any other secondary sexual character which is found in boys and girls can anybody tell me boys ki tarah develop develop hair on chest hair on chest एस ऑन चेस्ट चेस्ट पे क्या आ जाते हैं बाल आ जाते हैं किनके मेल्स मेल्स ओके सो दीज आर द सेकेंडरी सेक्सुअल कैरेक्टर्स ऑब्जर्विंग दीज सेकेंडरी सेक्सुअल कैरेक्टर्स वी कैन डिफ्रेंशिएट दैट दिस इज अ फीमेल एंड दिस इज अ मेल बॉय ओके एनी प्रॉब्लम नो सर नोट डाउन प्लीज नोट डाउन प्लीज नोट डाउन the blackboard is green
सर बोर्ड फ्रीज हो रहा है सचिन व्हाट हैपन सर दिख नहीं रहा ढंग से बोर्ड क्या नहीं दिख रहा है द बोर्ड इज क्वाइट क्लियर सर मेरे नेटवर्क नहीं आ रहा शायद तक ओके okay. ओके नाउ एवरीवन हैज नोटेड यस सर in class 7 in the first chapter we have studied about the digestive system in human beings are you able to recall that yes sir yes sir so digestive glands so similar to the digestive glands there are endocrine glands endocrine glands are the glands which secrete their uh, secretion directly into the blood stream and they reach through the blood uh, in the region where they are needed okay and the and the secretion yeah, of right. and the secretion of endocrine gland are called hormones are called what hormones let us write endocrine glands do not have any ducts jaise ki aapne dekha hoga liver produces the bile liver produces the bile but it stores in bad bladder do you know this Do you know that or not? Yes, sir. Okay, so sir. But endocrine glands do not have any ducts. Endocrine glands. I know. Endocrine glands. These are these are ductless glands. These are ductless glands.